Hello everybody, how is it going? And welcome back to another episode of Goblin Stone, the turn-based tactical roguelite RPG that we are going to check out again because we have the Warlock class unlocked. It's a self-damaging class that hopefully deals a lot of damage. We will see how this is gonna go. Quick check before we go in because I haven't been playing for a while. Did we check the merchant already? It seems like we did, so we don't need anything here. What we do want is... Um, I mean, we probably always want to breed, right? Oh, we need more. We need more. We need more room. That's the thing. Lucky, hot blood, tough body, open mind. Yeah, you know what? I think I have something that I already uh, figured out, right? We had some pretty good combos here. Oh, I wanted to check Ruthless as well. Yeah, let's go. Uh, I want. I also want a blue goblin. <laughs> Give me blue goblins. Come on. There we go. So... We have a new generation of gobbos. Look at this. Ruthless, tough body. Oh, we could even make him open-minded for like a real high crit chance. Yeah, these guys are all good. It really feels... Oh, they're so good, man. It really feels like we just want to swap out our gobbos again. Uh, shall we? I would say so. All right, friends. Retire. Give me your... Beautiful, beautiful souls. And we're gonna start with a whole new squad of gobbles. We need to get to, I think, 60 souls or something like that to actually upgrade our our lair again. Quarters capacity. <laughs> Alright, more retirement homes for old goblins. We can do it. Uh, wait. Oh, I need to dig first? Let's do it then. 9,000 gold pieces. Wait, there's a room up here. There's an empty chamber. And I believe quarters are easy to build. Yes, it's only stone and ore. We have a lot of that. So we have that. Um, do we upgrade already? Home for goblins in the do we upgrade already? We need more ore, you say. All right. It's a good incentive to try to get more ore in general. So harvesting is really good now. Okay. So we swapped out a bunch of people. Our soul status is 42... Uh, we need 65 in order to upgrade. Fine. All right, guys, let's go into the war room and assemble a squad, shall we? I do want to try the new class today. I want to try the Warlock. It's not the best Warlock in the world, but I guess he will manage. So, what do we have here? Uh, I'll, I'll take a look at that in the... Um, no, actually, no. I should take a look at it now so I can give him some nice combo buddies. Sacrifice 5 life to deal 130% damage. If the target dies, gain Inspire. Really good. It's a nice finisher move. And a big, like, burst damage on top of that. Bandit would be pretty good so that we can ensure the kill a bit more reliably. Harvest. Drain an ally for 30% of its max life and heal that amount. This guy wants bandits as buddies, right? Pewter Trudge, uh, gain 2 Toxic, deal 50% of your damage. If the target dies, attack again. I like this class already. And then gain protection and a 30% chance of gaining healing, whatever that means. So yes, we want a bandit, 100%. The question is, do we unlock another skill set for the bandits? We'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, I want the newest goblins, because the newest goblins are the best goblins that we have right now. You're just fine. You're just fine. Ten body. I mean, look at all of these fools. Eh, eh, eh. Just gonna get the the highest numbers, and then we're gonna make them somebody. All right. So you have a real high mind. Oh yeah, you're a raider. That's good. Um, I need somebody with um, ideally more spirit. Do we have spirited somewhere? Open mind, sure-footed. Eh, it's fine. Oh, yeah, and then they ask the question, do we somehow get Ruthless? We do have Ruthless here. Perfect. Okay, I want to play with that. So, it doesn't really matter what we do. We're going to go for you uh, as our guard, mister. An appropriate I want the bandit. And I think bandits are really good with power and, I guess, high body. Because I have a, I have a thing in mind. Let's go bandit. Yes, please, thank you. 80 health. He's gonna be our health pool, all right? Our big sponge that we're gonna tap into. Um, open mind, sure-footed. Okay, high mind means uh, mystic. 100% mystic. Yes. 
and there we go good crit massive power and then i think another physical attacker would be great because we actually we, we need a shaman I, I need my my main healer let's go with that uh so mine doesn't matter too much here it's just four percent crit just 4%. I mean, we have a lot of crit. We could go with that. Orbit is just raw power. What if we make you the mystic? Hold up. Uh, sorry, the shaman. I click cancel and he got a shaman anyways. Alright, let's go with this. And um, quickly take a look at the skill set. What's the healing chant like? 10% of your power plus half of your spirit. See, high spirit means a lot to this guy. Uh, but I think it's good enough. Quick check. 40% of your power to the three front... To the front three fro... F front three foes! That's the name. Kindle spirit, sticky hoodoo... Eh, power matters a little bit if I make him a damage dealer. You know what? Yeah. Eh? 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 Yeah. Alright, let's give him power. It's fine absolutely fine so um this is gonna be my squad now we just need to equip some weapons and just go for it i'd say let's do it we need high power on the warlock i believe what's the shaman gonna get i want to see the warlock in action so i'm gonna give it something that is upgradable so oh wait you cannot even take it Bone fetish. Well then, let's give you that. We can give the mystic the fairy... Fairy wand, perfect. I think I want something with sunder. Oh wait. Oh wait, this is a very high power thing. We want to share our power with our friends. Do we take the axe or do we take the sword here? 16 to 15 power. I think something with sunder is good. Let's give him the axe and then big shield on you, my friend. Hell yeah. Alrighty then. Looking good. So guys, this is gonna be our squad for the moment. Uh, we'll see how this is gonna go. What we need is more wood and actually more experience. Just more experience so we can upgrade and then we can um, build the guild for our friend, the, the Warlock. It's not a lot we can do here. We can fight the plated Skulker or we just keep going follow the rat sure out of the sewers let's go by the way uh, i am very much ahead of the uh, current timeline i have been pre-recording a lot lately and there is a new announcement of a new patch the day i'm recording today with a lot of quality of life improvements and some balancing things um so when you are watching this you might have already gotten to that patch but i I'm not there. It's a pre-patch announcement. Each party member's power up by two. Oh, it's big. It is a big map. Treasure or not treasure? Guru is good. Both is good. Let's get some treasure in case we find a shop. Or we, we can uh, upgrade on a smithy or something like that. Get some early money is probably a good idea. All right. What is it? Chance for knockback. I'll take it. Put it on the bandit? No. No. Put it on the mystic because he got some nice multi and AoE attacks. There we go. Let's do it. Nasty shrine. Ambush. Sure. Let's see what you got. The answer is a lot. Yeah. Oh god, that's a lot of damage and stun. Well, well, well. Do I heal already? I want to try to freeze them. Six to all. I mean, you have a pretty good crit chance. Let's let's heal. We need to stay alive. It's a long map. I know killing enemies is also a way to stay alive. Let's go for sun strike. Get the crit. No, no haste for us. Hmm. These guys have magic armor. Anyways, with you having 50% more damage, we can just grind through them. Yeah, let's go for one. Oh, 
Nicely done. A lot of damage here. Harvest, Hex, Cull. Uh, Hex needs to crit in order to kill. Sacrifice five life to deal enough damage to kill, but only the front foe. Harvest. I could harvest somebody. Ah! Nice, we got a slow out of that. That's perfect. With a rattle, we might get some crowd control in that we need to finish this without taking any further damage. We'll see. I want wakey wakey. That's a kill. Just need to tick once, I believe. Um, ah, how do we do this? Dark Will is coming up in Harvest. Maybe we just hit them. There we go. Got a knockback. First. So, oh, Quattle B is down. We get one more activation before the Quattle A goes again. So this is Harvest. Dark Will is gain protection. 30% chance to gain healing as well. Yeah, let's try this. What does healing mean? It's a, it's a heal over time, it seems, right? Ooh, 11 life over... Ooh, I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. That's cool, we have another healing ability. Um, Do we need to guard or intercept? No, we just go for the kill now. Do we have another AoE heal? Thing is, another thing that will be changed is the redraw is once per adventure. Uh, in the next patch, it will be once per battle, which is gonna be significantly better. Do I take the redraw now to get some extra heal out? It would be worth it. At the same time, we are not critical yet. Let's go for the kill. Vile cretins. Vile cretins. And we get some meat as a reward. Perfect. Plus one power. Mutters its great promises. Yeah, 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 main damage dealer. Let's go. Do again? Their power grows. Nah. No, I don't want to. I'm here for harvesting some of these souls. Speaking of harvesting, we can play some tough battles. Down there, there's a goblin. Um, sure. Why not? Let's go and harvest a bit. I don't think that we can find wood here, but there's a chance for rock and ore. Yep. Ugh. Instant fight. Alright, show me what you got. Nice block. <sighs> hmm. Maybe we can take the rat out easily. Resisted the stun. Alright. We got the wakey wakey though. With a 50% chance for a crit. Is this gonna be enough? Possibly. We'll see. Ah. Vital blow. Not quite. Poisoned. Scold Furious Cleave. The cleave is actually pretty good here. I'll take the cleave. Get some fury on you. Be angry. The fight is long enough for it to matter. Absolutely. Poison? Uh, yes, this is a Mystic Bowl situation here. Is it? Eh. Eh. Yeah, sure. Exactly what I wanted. Perfect. One rat down. And we got a bit of a knockback here. Nice. Alright. So, Dark Will. Protection and healing. Puted touch. Gain toxic and deal 50%. Yeah. Yeah, let's try this. You're poison now, buddy. But you're not? Why are you not poisoned? Oh, because you're resistant to poison. Okay, yeah, 60%. Healing Chant is fantastic in this instance. Yeah. Everybody get healed up. Uh-oh. Double O. Oh, triple O. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get out of this fight. And quickly. Harvest. Do I want to harvest somebody? No healing touch coming up. Healing chant coming up. Huh. Uh -huh. Wait, we get even more toxic doing this. 
And yes, they are resistance, but they are not immune to it. Let me check this out. Resisted. Again. But then he is poisoned now. Alright. I mean, it's a bit of damage. Intercept, yes, thank you. Oh, so good. Very, very important. Let's try to get a kill somehow. This guy is getting damage over time. No. I'll go for a blasting kill now. I hate that he's hasted. Final strike isn't helpful. Bludgeon is. You are furious right now, so might as well, right? Oh boy. No! Don't you dare kill my new class! Wait, it's actually the Mystic. <laughs> um, Astral Flame. We need a crit to kill. Not even then. Fantastic, we have a freeze. So we're gonna probably let him uh, wait out his haste. Another putrid touch. We deal only five damage here. Hex has the chance to slow. Protection and healing. I don't think that the healing is gonna be mattering so much. I think we go for the kill. Yeah, I know. All right. I need the heal. Yes. Woo! Important! Absolutely important. It's fantastic because we got the full block and, and I think now we just go for it, correct? Good crit. Crippling Amazing! Do we have the wakey? Yes, perfect. Quaddle out. Great, great, great. I think this is it now. Uh, the final strike? I mean, if we crit. But hey, let's go bludgeon. It's a definite kill. And I mean, final strike means nothing because it gives us inspire, which reduces the cost of the things. We don't care about costs anymore. Harvest. Yes. You love, buddy. It is better to have it... I should have killed. <laughs> yes. Um, it is better to have it spread out because we have an AoE heal. Alright, I tried to be fancy there. The good news is we have a lot of meat. We can just eat it. Alright. Patience is bitter. And even more of it. Hell yeah, let's go. So, who wants some? You? You? I think we're gonna we're gonna hold on to six of these thingies. Another tough fight? I wouldn't mind actually. Let's go up. Let's go up. It is tough. Certainly. But I also want to harvest so I can get more room for retired goblins. Oh, it's another quaddle. Turn around. It's hard to ambush these guys. Alright, same fight, but different situation here. Right? Right? Intercept is fantastic. Good block. But he's hasted again. Okay. Try to get the haste myself. No. Getting quite unlucky with this. Okay, the Furious Cleave. Or the Battle Cry. Let's go Battle Cry. Everybody power up. Four extra power is really good here. Hmm. Everything's viable. This is good because it deals a good chunk of damage to the front rat. And we can follow up on that. Cull. Yes, I like that. The poison resistance is a bit of a problem here. Um... Color's fantastic, it's fine. Let's go. Oh, five damage, no! That's a pretty cool animation, though. I like it. Alright, you're slowed, which is bad. I will heal up, though. 
Okay, pretty good. Aww. The haste slow combo is so nasty. But anyways, we got a kill here. We got a kill here, mostly, right? Uh, we have to fish for a crit. In any case. Yeah, didn't quite get it. Alright then. Maybe some kind of AoE will help out later. Kind of a waste of the power-up, but hey. The block is important, yes. So, my friend. Oh wait, maybe we get the final strike ability. That would be fantastic. Yes, we have it. Perfect. So, we kill somebody with this. Which means... Everybody has their next ability cost reduced by one, which means we're gonna act faster. Oh, I love it. Dark wheel for a bit of healing? I mean, we will be we will be on the front line quite fast again, and the protection is very helpful. Maybe we can absorb a hit with this. Okay. We didn't get the healing though. It's only a 30% chance. Celestial beam. This is a big no. We go for the blast. Good damage. Don't want to harvest. Hex can only hit the front two. Oh, I wanted to get the red down. Another cull? I mean, sure. It's the most damage we can... It feels bad, though. Let's hex him. Make him slow, possibly. Nah, we don't. Yo, buddies! Why are you so strong? I have 10 armor and you just blast me anyways. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is this gonna be a mortal wound? Uh, yes, we are. We are dead. Oh no. The poison will take down! No! Rip. Okay. Tough fight. It's tough. <laughs> Cool! I mean, it gives me a challenge here. Oh, we finally have Flame Warp. Get wrecked, buddy. Okay, okay, okay. So, the Vakey Vakey. Let's try. I want to try to get some damage in here. The Dark Will. You already have protection. I want you to stay on top on the front here. Let's go, Hex. Alright, guys, we got a dead goblin. <laughs> Blast him. Holy crap. Alright, I was not prepared for that. It's not the end of the world, though, but still, it is a problem. Wow, these quaddles, man, they, they give me hell. We need to find another goblin to round out our squad again. And then we have no tank anymore. Uh, let's eat a little. Mm, yeah. We gotta be on top of our game there. Oh god, I'm looking for another goblin, but I don't find any right now. This is tough. I feel like I, I don't really know what to do with the warlock yet. Uh, yeah, sure, let's read it. A test of mind. We should be very good with that. Choose three. We cannot fail it. Yeah. Okay. As the goblins read with genuine interest, we all gain five power. Oh, this is so needed right now. <laughs> so damn needed. All right, Guru, give me something. Potential is nothing without practice. Pestilence. Foes with slow take double the amount. We are not really slowing our foes too much. More damage on Sudden Strike could be good. One more hit on another enemy. Oh, I like practice the extra hit. The Let's go with that. It's a major upgrade. Putrid Touch. Come on. It's a bit more damage, but the toxic level doesn't rise. I think it's a no. We go with Sun Strike, that's always nice. It's a thing that I use very often. And then there's the Wakey Wakey, or... 
Ooh, more power. This conflicts with the Furious Cleave, though. I genuinely like this. I'll take it then. Because the Wakey Wakey extra attack doesn't matter too much, we are not really able to stun reliably anymore. Oh, I wish I could go there. We're gonna go with the easy fight because uh, we are missing a goblin, right? And then we're gonna harvest into, I think it was a shrine. Let's, let's do that. Okay. Oh, it's event. All right. Turn around. I want to kick you in the butt. I don't know about the ambush mechanic. Well, well, well. <clears throat> Let's see what's coming. Okay, my power is down a little. I hate this thing. We're gonna make it bleed. Let's go. Quartal strong, but that's good. The cleave? It's a lot of damage. Hell yeah, let's go. And we gain fury out of that. Oh, I love it. 14 damage. Uh, this could kill something. If it hits the right target, obviously. All right. We have a knockback, though. That's good. Putrid touch for a nine damage. What is your deal? You have, like, not a lot of damage. I mean, yes, the poison. But you're all poison resistant. Let's gain protection and healing. Okay. We got a heal? No. We got a blast, though. It sets up for a final strike if we get it. We only absorb four damage thanks to the multi-attack. Hey, yeah, yeah, and your power is down, and you're poisoned. Cull. Cull the weak. Let me think real quick. You had the final strike ability. How much damage does it do in your state right now? Nine or so? Wonder if this is enough. Let's go with Cull. Yeah, it takes a bit of our own health. But this guy should be in range for the final strike now. Let's see. Oh, yeah, certainly now. Perfect. We even get two of them. Does it mean we get two instants of Inspire? No. No. It's fine. Doesn't even matter too much, because now we are in the final, final leg of the game here, and that means we're gonna just go for the kill. So having our cost reduced makes no makes no difference. No difference at all. They stuff their packs. Another stick. Um, I want to take the snail with me. I'm gonna put it as my tank to the front line. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get a goblin here, so we have to do with five. Schnonk, schnonk, schnonk. Diligence bears its fruit. This will come in handy. Okay, another event. Man, what a... What a freaking map it is. A Cleric's Blessing! I want to see how damaged my goblins are right now. Is a 20% heal good enough? The first two... There's an argument for them. I'll, I think I'll take the power, so I can just end this quickly. I think this is the five. Nah! No! We failed by one! Oh my god. Alright, 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 alright. Um... Yeah. I'm gonna go with the tough battle, because it is a treasure, which gives, which gives us something hopefully maybe a good temporary weapon maybe a bauble that helps us being even stronger and then we have a shop coming afterwards which is also helpful for um for extra power no ambush doesn't work okay friends 
Let me try to get you down. This is wakey wakey. On the guy that we can possibly kill fast. We're gonna deal with the snakes later. Battle cry, the cleave. Ah, uh, we are one off. Could bludgeon the, the rat. Which is a smarter play. Guns off the board, right? That's the paradigm that we follow here. Celestial beam. If they're magic armor, it's rarely useful. Without mercy. Blast is good. Dark will. Yes, please. No healing. Nurgle. That's a heal, though. And totally viable. Will benefit everybody. With almost maximum efficiency. Cool, so that was 14 damage that we didn't take. Seven only. Weird. Alright. Ah, the lightning blast is 14. And honestly, I believe the lightning blast is a magic attack, whereas the bite is a physical. God, you're so fast! Cleave is 24 damage total. Let's go bludgeon. We might knock him. We did. Yeah. No free, sadly. But hey, he's down to 22. If we get wakey wakey, we have him. Perfect. I'll take the one out that is hasted for the moment. And, you know, the one that is killable. Alright then. Tom Hoofer. Looking at all of this now, I really feel like we just got really unlucky with the ordering earlier. Let's hex him. Okay. Blast into freeze, potentially? Ooh, this is huge. See, in this fight, we just got so damn lucky. Um, I'll do a weird thing here. I don't want to hit him right now because I cannot kill him in one go. This here, however, is a kill. As soon as you hit them, you break the freeze, so... Yeah. Easy, tough fight. Crazy, isn't it? A modest fortune. Mm-hmm. Got a bit of healing, and there was a blue sparkle down here. Yes. I've seen it. No treasure. So, my friends, let's take a look at what we've got. Actually, yeah, we should take a look at what we've gotten here. This is a gain 20 life per kill, 12 power, blast wand. 20 life per kill, 20% chance for knockback. 20 life per kill. Let's do it, because it also opens another slot, which we can then use for... Max life or power, or something else that we might find in the shop. Let's go to the shop first and see what's what. Hello. Yeah, there's a good stuff. Good amount of stuff that I actually want. Damage versus beasts. Yes, please. Armor plus five. Also, yes, please. And a chance to bleed. Oh my god. Okay. Let's get rid of some stuff here. I'll buy everything. We got money. Maybe we don't. Chance to bleed could possibly stay there for a second. This is what I want. Okay. Let's check out our slots and then we're gonna go back, possibly. Okay, so the first thing I want is the big power. Big power goes on big damage dealer? You benefit from power a lot, my friend. So does the raider. I'll do this. No, actually, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have. Uh, armor plus five. Could have been better on the radar. I'm gonna give it to the bandit then. I mean, why not? I want the physical armor. Maximum life as well. I mean, if it's a percentage, this means a lot for you, my friend. So you just stay alive, all right? Uh, and then we got the damage versus beast situation, which is certainly the mystic. What was the last thing that we could have gotten here? As much of use. Chance to bleed. I'm gonna say no. I needed to sell something in order to get it, so... Sorry. 
So from here on out, we could go for an easy fight or another harvest into tough fight. We are a little bit out of foodstuffs. Do like the harvest though. And I think we've just, just gotten significantly more powerful. 94 health on the bandit. It's crazy. Let's be greedy. See what we can do here. Worst case scenarios, we're gonna heal at the campfire. Alright, let's be smart about it, guys. <clears throat> Wakey can kill a rat if we crit. Ah. We got the slow on the bandit, which is not too bad. He stays on the front line a bit longer. Yeah, taking the damage for the team with the high health. Furious Cleave is very good, but Battle Cries as well. Um, do we want to deal 33 damage? I think no. I think it's better to upgrade 7 damage per here, which will result in overall <clears throat> big killing potential. Oh yeah, we can direct the blast. No, wait, we can't. Never mind. Damage versus beast up. Yes! Oh! Yes, yes, I forgot about that. So good! Putrid touch. That's a kill. Very important. Ah, stun. Oh my god. Do we get a heal coming up? We do get the heal, which I will happily throw out there. It's also an argument for killing the rat. Yeah, but you know what? I think this is better. I might be wrong with this. We just healed 29. Sorry, no. 26, I think. Hope it's worth. Hex kills the rat. It's something. Alright. <laughs> okay. Oh, the slow. The slow and it all. I mean, exterminate. We are one off with exterminate. Ah. Do we fish for the crit? I mean, I mean, let's go. If we fish for the crit, we might as well take the three-turn thing. Alright, so... We didn't get the fireball. So it is a blast. Hoping for... The freeze. And if we have 25 damage, somehow... This is over. Healing chant. Tempting. Very tempting. But let's get out of here. Goblins of a very All right, we made it. The greed paid off, so we can possibly build another. Um, what's it called? Warrens? A decent harvest. Not Warrens. The the retirement home for the for the old goblins. Well, one more, one more piece of food. Uh, you shouldn't do it before the campfire. Yeah, I know, but I wanna not heal here at the campfire. I wanna actually get more powerful. This is perfect. A place of respite for the weary. So we'll take the speed. They settle in, weary of the I think aggression is the better defense in this instance. Let's go for it. So I really feel my, my verdict for now is that the warlock seems to be an interesting concept, but it's not really coming out yet. We need to build a guild in order to maybe unlock some other synergies and then yes i'm missing the uh missing health uh attack on the bandit that is the thing that i should have maybe unlocked we're going into a quattle boss fight oh no with five gobbles oh no yeah a little too late there i started from way too far away they confront the all right what's your name to its terror. iron mandible <laughs> yeah time yeah i can feel teams. it <laughs> All right, let's get these out quickly. Killing stroke. Ay, 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 it hurts. Cleave? 
sure. Alright, we didn't get the crit, but it sets up for a kill on you, my friend. Uh, yeah. It's 100% a kill on the rat because we have the... The damage versus beast thingy. Exceptional skill. So good. We needed that. Oh. That was amazing. That's one very dangerous foe that is not here anymore. Cull just doesn't do it, I feel. 60% poison resistance as well. 40% slow resistance. Uh, let's go for the rat. Good crit. A vital blow. Pestilence kills. So does Soul Gale. Sure. We achieved the knockback. That's good. So our Warlock can do another thing. The Dark Will is, I think, in order. This fight is gonna go for a long time. So we need to, a bit of sustain. That's good. Yeah. I mean... I have the bandit for maximum absorbing right now. And in order to use our fury, I'm gonna just go and throw a bludgeon out. Yeah. Ooh, 55! Good crit! Good crit. It's a blast. Actually, we had two redraws. We could have gone for the fireball. I think we won. It looks like it, right? So yeah, looking at this... It really feels like we just got unlucky with the death of our tank. Easy. The imposing creature hey, is gone. look at this. Hopefully so, being aggressive it. paid off. We got the kill so fast that it didn't even matter that they were on the battlefield. Cool. Was that a Scourge? Uh-oh. Hello? Oh, yeah. We, we want to follow the rat through the sewers. Cool. Let's go. I hope this is it. Because we have no more healing available for our raider. Uh oh. Oh, what's gonna happen now? Hello? I hate this. This is ominous. This is why I hate it. At last, they reach a clandestine pathway where stonework ends and hollowed earth begins. Mm -hmm. Beyond the culverts, a cavernous moor obscured by darkness and murk opens wide to engulf any who dare journey into its shadowy gullet. The small rat who dares go no further stops to point the way forth, gesturing toward the foreboding tunnel under the mountain. Furtively, the goblins push onward and bid farewell to the amicable rat as they drift into the mouth of the fathomless cavern. Are we done? Please tell me that we are done. Oh no. Oh, we are. Okay, good. Woo. So the question is, do we get the soul from the dead goblo? No, because he was fresh. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Eh, all right, we're missing out on one soul. I do wonder if it is worth Let's getting the bandit the skill upgrade. Brings. All right, what's coming? Oh. Chapter 5. A Strange Fellowship. The Fellowship. Journey through the darkness towards the Undermountain to reach the Druidic Enclave on the other side, where a mysterious meeting awaits. Is there another class, like a Druid class or something? I wonder. Now, one thing before we wrap it up for today. I want to take a look at the merchant as per usual, see if we can find some interesting things. And yes, this is a perfect wand. Uh, I'll take the wood, that's 100% sure. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So. The Barbed Spear, we have one with one slot. Do we just buy it? I think we are in a quite good balance when it comes to money right now. We are spending as much as we as we earn. Having slots open is just 
good. But currently we are not using... I wonder if, they, if we find another tier of play soon. We are getting to chapter 5, you know? So, I believe... I'm not gonna invest right now. No, we're just gonna trade stuff in. Just what's needed. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Quick check on the gobbles. Pensive, ruthless, hot-headed. Oh, by the way, I didn't even check the ruthless ability. Crap. Crap! I forgot. Man, there was so much stress today that I was not ready yet. So, the Bandits Guild, as I was saying, has one very interesting ability, which costs us five souls, which is the payback. Deal your missing life as damage. When you have a guy that has a pool of 90 health, and you are missing half of it. That's 45 damage. I want to know. I want to have this. In combo with the... Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. No, we're not doing it yet. I want to upgrade so I can build the the, the Warlock Guild. And then uh, we're going to see. The, the last thing I'm going to do is upgrade this because, yes, we can. Uh, can we upgrade again? Not quite, but we can build another one of those. <laughs> Interesting. Alright guys, I think this is the wrap up for today that has been Goblin Stone, the turn-based tactical roguelite RPG that I am very much in love with. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and if you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.